time for some potions and a new farm. We're going to be getting a new brewing station built and making a nice nether wart farm. Hello and welcome to Minecraft School. My name is JD and I'll be your teacher today. Our objectives are number one, how to build a brewing station. Number two, gather materials for the brewing setup. And three, how to make an easy nether wart farm. Now, we're going to be digging back in here, but I want to grab our materials first. And for that, we need to go into the nether. But uh, we also need to go back to the other base because I want to grab the brewing stand there. I don't think we need to have it there. But let me just see if I've got some space here. Yep. Okay, good. So we are going to head on over there. Make sure I've got my golden helmet. And we need to get stuff that you can grow nether wart on. So let's go. Got some creepy sounds around us. Uh, there's something here that I want to grab, but I'm going to have to get it on the way back because I need a hoe. I want this. That is a shroom light, and we're going to use that for light inside. Uh, shroom lights grow on both the, uh, the crimson and the warped fungus trees, and boy, are there a lot of endermen around here. Yeah, let's get back to our starter base. So we came here for this stuff, so let me just grab the nether wart here. Actually, isn't much, not much at all. So I'm just going to replant some, not all of it, because we need to bring some back, right? Uh, let's see, I think that's good. I'm, I'm not going to be making a huge nether wart farm. It's not like we need anything like that, but... Uh, it's good to have. Uh, let me see if I've got a hoe around here. I may have to make one. Okay, let's make ourselves an iron hoe. We need sticks first. There we go. And a couple of these. And this will be for getting a, the uh, the shroom light. I was going to say mushroom. And let's break this. I'm going to take that with us. And what did we get? Just uh, water bottles. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. I only need to pick up a couple of things in the nether unless we actually have some... No, I don't believe we have any uh, soul sand. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so let's head back into the nether and grab those two things. All right, we've got a good amount of soul sand here. This is going to be great. Ah, let's bring a whole bunch because you never know. We may actually end up building... A few more water elevators. Uh, how much did we get? 32. Oh, that's good. All right, let's head back and... Ah, of course, we do have a warped forest there. I could go in there and grab our shroom lights. All right, here we are. The hoe is the best thing to use to get shroom lights. It's the most efficient. And uh, since 1.16, the hoe has many many more uses than it used to have it used to be just for farming now we can use it for a lot of stuff i cannot reach that uh, so let me see there should be a bit more around here uh, we could also make farms of these things but unfortunately there is an issue uh oh <laughs> let's not go down there there is an issue with uh Ah, oh, there's one. There we go. There's an issue with uh, this stuff running out. So, yeah. Let's head back and we can start building. Now, let's take a look at our comment of the video. This is from LMV Gaming. Building tip. Try putting water above the cave. It will look, le uh, look like little water droplets are dripping. And, you know, hello, sheep. Uh, yes, uh, that is actually a very good idea. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> uh, okay, I was, <laughs> uh, that was very strange movement there. Um, but yeah, that's a good idea. That is, well, it's not what I'm going to be doing now, but uh, what you would need to do is just break out a couple of blocks and then in the top block, put in a water source and then replace this block. And because there's water up up there, water will drip through this block. But it won't won't get anything wet here. But it will give that uh, 
it'll give that image or that uh, feeling. Yeah, that the image that it's wet. Uh, words aren't coming to me. Okay, but yes, uh, thank you for that idea. That is a very good idea. I'd like to introduce you to something that could be very useful, especially if you're a Java player. Uh, if you're already fairly experienced, you'll know all about Optifine. Now, Optifine is a mod that you can use. Let me just go into here and Options and Video Settings. Now down at the bottom you can see Optifine HD G7 Ultra. That's the latest version of Optifine for uh, Minecraft 1.16.5. What it does, it actually does improve your performance, so it is everything's a lot smoother. But it also enables you to use shaders. Now I have a few shaders here. Uh, these days I like to use BSL, but there's also SUS and Silders. I'm going to show them to you later on. Well, uh, my favorite at least. But this is a very useful thing to use if you want to improve the performance of the game. And has one bonus thing. You can zoom in. Now the uh, hotkey is C and that is the that's the default. So you can see you can actually look farther in the distance. 1.17 will have the spyglass which does the exact same thing. But bedrock players you don't have this feature until you get 1.17. So what I'd like to start on is a bit of a cave. No, not too big. Uh, I am going to want to also take out, uh, let me see, which pickaxe? Uh, this one is probably better for now. I got mending, but I haven't been able to fix yet. So we're going to be digging back a little bit, not too much. I don't want this to be like our enchanting cave. Uh, this is going to be an issue here. Uh, so I don't want to go too high either. I think I might go down a little bit, but I want to keep on this level here, at least out front. Although, we are going to step down. Hmm. But this area I'm going to be doing in another video. Uh, what I like to do is our little station in here. So we're going to go back a bit, and let me just clear out a space for us to work with. Uh, and unfortunately, we've kind of broken through here, up here. So I would like to just fill this in a bit because, you know, I don't want I don't want that there. So that is another reason why I should go down. Now, this doesn't have to be a big space at all. So I'm just going to fill this in a bit. Uh, eventually, I'm, I am going to start building up here, but I want this space to be a little bit uh, better for me to build underneath. So let's just get this in here and get down below. What I'd like to do with the entrance here is use some spruce logs. We're going to use a lot of spruce wood in here and have a support. Uh, not like that, but going all the way up here like this and a diagonal, I think, to here. That'll be good. Okay, so we want this to be an interesting diagonal opening. Now, you can see there's an opening right there. Uh, we're going to deal with that later with a staircase going up here, I think. So what we need to do in here, we're going to use a combination of wood. Uh, let me just open this up a little bit more. Which I think this may be a good idea here. We're going to use a combination of stone brick and spruce. We're going to use a lot of spruce trapdoors. So I'm going to get the uh, stone brick ready. I've got the basic shape done here, but I'd like to put in a few support logs here, here, and here. And these are going to be a couple of different things that I'm going to be putting in here. This is going to be the space for our little farm here. So uh, first of all, may as well get started. We're going to put down the soul sand all around here. This is not very big, so we have room for seven, and I believe I have seven. So we'll just plant this and we can let it grow. 
There we go. And we're going to work on the background, of course. So this is all there is to another wart farm. Uh, this is all I'm going to do. It's very simple. But what I want to do is put up here a single light. That is a shroom light. There we go. Now the surrounding stuff here, this doesn't look really good, does it? No. Uh, but you know what I want to do in here? Let me grab my axe. Ah, there it is. Uh, instead of having just regular logs, I want to strip these. So it's a little bit lighter on the inside. And I think when we use uh, things like planks and stairs, it's going to blend a little bit better. So I'm going to put the rest of these right here. We're going to have a couple of cross beams. And again, we're going to strip these as well. There we go. It's starting to look a bit better. I'm liking that. But a lot of this looks really ugly, doesn't it? We also have to get this all ready. So let's get to work on this area. I've already decorated this. Very straightforward and simple. I want this to be a lot cleaner than the other cavern. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to place this slab here. And uh, in fact, there's something that I neglected to do. Uh, let me just grab four of these. And we're going to make ourselves a crafting table because we need a cra crafting table in here. Uh, place that there. And we are going to make ourselves a cauldron. A cauldron is going to be very useful in here. And right there, we need to make our brewing stand. Now, you remember I broke the brewing stand? Well, you're supposed to break it with a pickaxe and only with a pickaxe. If you don't do that, you're going to have a broken brewing stand. It won't be there anymore, unfortunately. Okay, so uh, let me make a couple of these. I want to see how this, whoops, I'm going to see how this looks. One there and one there. Um, interesting, I guess. And yeah, I want to also, uh, that's the wrong thing. Here, this is what I want. I want to make a whole bunch of these. And then we are going to make some stairs. Got four. Perfect. So I use the four stairs. Uh, we'll put one here, and one here, and one here, and one here. All right. Now up here, now this is something I want to make a lot more attractive. The floor is also going to be replaced, I think, with stone brick. Uh, I'm going to have to do the one under there, too. Ah, uh, okay. So I need to make sure I've got all the materials ready. So let's go. It's time for the pop quiz. Number one, how often do you brew potions? And number two, do you use Optifine and shaders? And which shader is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm trying to figure out a bit of a design here. I was thinking I could put in slabs here and this gradually comes down like this and we'll have it coming out like this and quite possibly let me try this here put in some stairs let's see what happens so I'm just experimenting with this idea here going around like this oh that's upside down heh <laughs> and down to there okay um hmm, 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 hmm. let me try this Let's see what i can do here uh, it's a bit of an odd design, but um, hmm. the exterior I'm not worried about so much because I want to work on making sure everything here flows well. And I will be doing that later, not in this video. 
But in this video, I'm working on what's inside here. Now up there, uh, let's see. I think what we could do, I've got three shroom lights left. Uh, I think I have an idea. So let's just make sure that we aren't breaking through here. I don't, I don't need to use all of them. I'll just use a couple. And then what we're going to do is make four. Yeah, we're going to make four trapdoors. Now, uh, trapdoors are really good because you can get light through them. So the light will come through. Okay, there we go. And uh, down here, yeah, we need to take care of this area too. So got this bit of a staircase going down. All of this I want to replace with stone brick as well. Well, this is turning out to be a fairly straightforward build. We're almost done. I need to put in some storage. I thought barrels would go good right in these corners here. I'm going to use these for ingredients for uh, uh, making potions, of course, storing glass bottles, water bottles, this stuff as well. Yep. Uh, but there is one other thing. The, that area over there looks kind of ugly. So I just want to make a couple more of these. I'm going to put these right here, flip them up, and I think that's fine. Now this is exposed, but that's okay. We can't exactly put in trapdoors to cover those. If I had made this a bit wider, then, then we could have. But the inside of here is pretty much done. All I really need to do is put in all of the uh, materials, you know? Ah, and another thing. Uh, water bucket. Here we go. This is why I have this in here. This is where we can get our water from, and we can replenish it, replenish it with the pond that I'm going to be making here. So that'll be an infinite water supply. And there we go. Now, the sun is going down, so what I would like to do is show you something with shaders. So I'm going to go back in here, go into video settings, shaders, and choose BSL. And wait till you see how this looks. I absolutely love the looks of the sunset. And there we go. Oh, that is bright. Doesn't that look amazing? I find that with the shaders, everything looks a lot more realistic. And the light lighting levels as well look amazing. So I think we're going to just take a quick look, see how this looks before the sun goes down. And you got to love the shadows as well. You get shadows, you get motion, the leaves and the grass always moving. Uh... And the water. The water is amazing. But uh, one thing I would recommend is lowering the fog. Actually, I've turned off the fog, so I shouldn't be seeing it. There we go. So let's take a quick look at what we've built using shaders, huh? And here we are. We're in the shade right now because the sun is on the other side of the hill. But don't worry. It the light level here actually is what it should be when the sun is up. Uh, let's take a look in our enchanting setup. Why don't we see what that looks like here? Looks interesting. Uh, there are other shaders that will make things look a little more orange. Uh, so let me take you there. That will be... Silder's Vibrant. Uh, we're going to go with some extreme here, and you'll see what that looks like. And I love the look of this. This is amazing. With Silder's Extreme Vibrant. The, the problem is outside is way too bright. But inside, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. The mine as well. It looks dark, but we got enough light. Just take a look down here and look at it. The atmosphere is so good. 
It's absolutely amazing. If we switch back and take a look at BSL again, we'll see how this looks. There we go. It's it's a little grayer, but I like I like them for different reasons. BSL looks great outside, but Silder's Vibrant looks great inside. So depending on where you are building and what you're doing, you can use either one. And I hear an Enderman somewhere. I think I'm going to end off each episode with a look at how things look in shaders. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? Well, it's time for your homework. I'd like you to take a screenshot of your new brewing setup and post it on my Discord server in the homework channel. All right, so let me know if you like Silders or BSL shaders and why also. That just down in the comments. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in joining Minecraft School, then please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.